What's going on everybody, Nas Fusion here. I was going to show you guys how to connect your Xbox Wireless 360 controller using the wireless Xbox 360 receiver. Mine is not an actual brand, it's one I snagged off eBay for less than $5 and this is PC Wireless Gaming Receiver. And it comes with a little disc. Throw the disc out, it's completely worthless. So the first thing you need to do is go to Microsoft's website and download Xbox controller for Windows. Now I do have a Windows 8 machine, but I download the Windows 64-bit only version anyway. Download that, and once the file is downloaded, go ahead and install that. <clears throat> and then to verify it's been installed, go ahead and click your Windows key, and then type in Xbox. And you should see something like that come up. The uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 accessory status. Once that program has been installed, go ahead and go back to your desktop and then go to your computer and then control panel and then devices and printers. And once you're here, the very one at the bottom now mine says Xbox wireless receiver, that's because I've already installed the driver. Yours is going to say unknown device. Go ahead and right click, or if you're on the surface, just touch and hold, click properties. And once you do, it, there, it will give you a list of options to choose from as far as installing drivers. Make sure you install the latest driver that we just downloaded. It will look like that, Xbox 360 wireless receiver. Choose the one that has the latest date. Um, I think mine is actually dated 2012, but it's version 6.2.9200. And once you install that, you will see the unspecified device will now be called Xbox 360 Wireless Receiver. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And again, punch your Windows key, type in Xbox, and then when the Microsoft Xbox 360, go ahead and click that. It should pop up right here at the bottom. And it says right now I don't have anything connected. You can see the lights on. So go ahead and grab your Xbox 360 controller, turn it on. And mine's already synced up. Now everybody should know how to pair. You got the button on the back there. Click for pairing. You hit the button here and it'll flash. And then click the pair button. And when it's done pairing, click the button again. Now, when it does pair, you should hear it the second time. So the first time you'll hear a sound when you plug in the receiver and you'll hear a second sound when you actually get the um, controller connected. So you come down here, it's still not going to show anything and it won't for a long time and that's okay. But now it's working. We can go ahead and test it out. Let's play Double Dash. Well, there's no way for me to turn while I'm playing or holding the camera at the same time. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out my video. Go ahead and smash that like button if it helps you guys out. Any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.